Take a look at the mega menu I am showing you right now. In this video I am going to show you how to build a mega menu like this with a cadence theme. Word of caution though, you need to have a pro version of cadence theme in order to accomplish that. So let's take a look how to create a mega menu like this. As I said you need to have a cadence theme installed and also you need to have a cadence theme pro add-on installed. If you don't have it yet, then you can download it if you have purchased it. If not, then I suggest you to purchase it because it's really great. Now go to plugins and install the pro version. And after the activation, go to cadence. These are the pro add-ons here. And if you need to create a mega menu, then you should activate this option here. Though I think you should activate most of them because they add uh, some great features to your team. If the ultimate menu is activated, go to menus and let's build the mega menu. As you see, I have a shop menu here, which has two subcategories, clothing and music, which also have three subcategories for every one of them. In order to activate the mega menu, open up the first level menu which means shop up here. Now click on the menu item settings. Next click on mega settings and choose enable mega menu drop down. Since I'm going to have three columns, I choose three over here. Here again, choose a layout if I want, but I want the columns to be evenly distributed. So I'm gonna choose this one here. Here you can change the drop down background, links color, links background and also the links item divider. I'm not going to touch them at the minute because I don't need it right now. One more thing, mega menu width, is it content width, menu container width or full width. Let's play with each one of them. So let's choose content, save, close this one also. Now the first item here. If I want to modify it, I'm gonna open it. Maybe I want to hide the text label or disable the link or maybe I want to add the icon here. I can do it right now and here. So I'm gonna save it. Save the menu. Now I'm, I'm gonna visit the site and see what happened. Okay. This is a menu here with an icon, second column here, nothing on the third column. Let's open the clothing again and delete the icon here. Save. Next, open up shop. And this time let's choose menu container width. Save. And once again, and let's see what the difference is. As you see, the width of the mega menu is, a, is the same as the width of this menu here. The third option, full width, is the width of the page itself, like this. I don't like the second or the third option for my site, therefore I'm going to change it back to content width. Save it. As you see, there is no option for us to make the headings to stand out. Therefore, I'm going to open up the customizer. Here I'm gonna choose an additional CSS and I will add this small piece of CSS code. What did it do? As you see, I told it to make the want weight of the heading a bit bolder. Now it stands out and looks much nicer. I'm going to publish, close it, and now I'm going to create an element for this column here. In order to do that, I will open up Cadence and Elements, add new, choose default, and add a title. For example, free shipping in Mega Menu. Since I want to make this tutorial as short as possible, I'm going to add only one item. It's going to be an info box. 
it comes with a cadence blocks plugin but you can use basically every Gothenburg item you want to use here so first I'm gonna add the title free shipping then short description free shipping to delivery on all orders above $50 and use a coupon code 50 to get another 10% off now I'm going to customize it a bit I don't like the icon therefore I'm gonna choose a truck icon here which symbolizes the shipping icon size 30 pixels container settings background white hover black background also white and last one I'm going to enable a shadow with a transparency of 10% and shadow blur 30 next I have to open up the element settings and under the display I have to choose entire site now I'm gonna publish it but if you refresh a page nothing happened we have to add it to the menu go to the menus again and add a custom link rename it as you want I'm gonna rename it free shipping add to menu let's drag it here now if you open it up you see nothing therefore you need to save the menu and now if you open it up there are the menu item settings click it open up mega settings and enable custom content now use a custom element free shipping in mega menu save it and save the menu here and now if I refresh it there you go here it is looks almost but I need the margin on top of it therefore once more I go to elements free shipping in mega menu open the info box and settings container settings and margin top 10 pixels update refresh and looks much better maybe even a couple of pixels more update refresh and there it is word of caution though first thing if you open up the element and you choose height text label save it and save it once more now what happens is the item is not visible therefore you should not activate the height text label since the label is not shown on the desktop devices there is no point for you to do it but if we open up the mobile view then take a look there is a free shipping and since there is nothing under it it's going to confuse your customers therefore you have two options one you link the free shipping to the page where the free shipping information is or you will create another menu give it the name for example mobile menu choose mobile here create it and now add all the links as you did in the primary menu but don't add the custom element there for example if I choose all here and add it to menu I'm gonna create that one a bit faster than I usually do but in order to show you what happened well there it is our mo mobile menu I'm the lazy person here therefore I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna just open up the primary menu and link the free shipping to the link or page where there is information about the free shipping or even better I'm gonna link it to some kind of products category for example hats drag it here save it 
menu item again, mega settings, enable custom content, free mega shipping and mega menu, save, save again, let's refresh it, there is our shop, hats, and if I click it, it will open up the hats category in mobile devices, but on desktop, it shows us the element we created. So now you know how to create the mega menu with the Cadence team. If you have any further questions or you would like to add some cool tips to my video, then let me know in the comment section of this video. Meanwhile, if you find this video useful, then press thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, then please subscribe and you will be the first to be notified about the new videos. Meanwhile, take care.